All right, so we're just gonna hang out. Catherine, you ready to do this demo with me? All right, let's get this crowd raised. Let's go, guys. Can we hear? You guys ready for this demo? Yeah. yeah. Woo, okay. First time doing a demo with a bee on me. All right, we're gonna hang out. So today I figured we'd do uh, deviled eggs. How many of you guys like deviled eggs? Yes, I thought it was very appropriate since it is Easter and we're getting all this chocolate eggs. But I want to make sure that you guys are getting that healthy protein. And eggs is uh, something that's really part of my diet that I eat every day. I see this one lady is looking at the bee. Uh, is it getting? Oh, it's, it's getting a little closer to the sleeve. It's okay. So uh, one thing I love about eggs is um, you know they're so versatile. First of all, you can boil them, you can fry them, you can pan sear them, you can use it to bind things. Uh, they're re really a special ingredient that I really enjoy uh, having. Um, but today's demo is it's just going to be really simple. We're going to take these deviled eggs and we're going to make them into deviled eggs. We're going to add a little bit of uh, low-fat mayonnaise, some mustard, a little bit of salt and pepper. But the most fun is we're going to try to decorate them to look like bunny rabbits since it is Easter. So this is kind of a fun exercise that you can do every year. It's just have fun with your deviled eggs. And uh, I'll show you. So pretty much, I've, can you guys see this from here? Yeah, okay. So I've pre-boiled the eggs. Now, how, how many minutes do you guys think it takes to boil an egg? We got three, who else? Four, five. The gentleman with the apple back there has it. For a hard boiled egg, it takes six minutes. For soft boil, four. But one of my tricks is I just put the eggs in a pot with cold water and I bring them to a boil. And once I see it boiling, I take the pot off the stove and I just let them sit for about 10 minutes. You come back, rinse it under cold water, you have perfectly hard-boiled eggs. So this way you don't have to sit there with a, with a clock or a timer or anything like that. Let's see how well we boil these eggs. Catherine, you ready for this? Oh, perfectly a yellow. You, you'll know that you boil an egg too much if it starts to get brown around the sides of it, right? So we could cut a couple more. All right. Do we have any, any, any volunteers that want to come help with the demo? This young lady right over there, yes. All right. You got so much going on. If you guys have any questions at any time, just let me know. All right, so what we're going to do, what's your name? Layla. Layla, can we get a, hand, a round of applause for Layla? Or you, yeah, Layla. So Layla, do you, do you cook at home ever? Don't worry, the beast staying on me. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> he's, not, he's not going anywhere. He's still hanging out, everybody. He's still hanging out. All right, so what we're going to do is, can you take these, the yolk out of here for me and put it in the bowl? All right. So what we're going to do is we got these beautiful hard-boiled eggs. Now, we very carefully want to take the yolk out of here. Yeah, and just put it on the side. Perfect. You can finish a couple of those. Catherine, you want, want to do some of this? All right. All right, so it's going to squish it in just like that. Oh, my God, doing a wonderful job. Let's see, Catherine. Nice. All right. So Catherine went a little crazy a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these yolks right here, and we're going to mash them up. You want to try to mash them up a little bit? I put my sous chefs to work today. Now, one of the things I love about uh, food is, you know, how to draw out flavor out of food. So we're going to add a little bit of salt because that's exactly what salt does. It draws flavor out, so we're just going to Add a little bit in there. Should we add some mustard? What do you think? Yeah, we're gonna add a little mustard in here. All right, mix it all up. This also works really well in a blender if you guys usually want, it takes a little easier. We're gonna add a little bit of low fat mayonnaise. All right, maybe a little more like that. Maybe we wanna take the whisk, let's see. Do we have a whisk over there? Not really. Uh, this thing right over here. Yeah, there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work it real hard just like this. Mash it up. You want to add a little drizzle of olive oil? Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. All right, so so far I got salt, pepper in here. Uh, I usually like putting a little bit of paprika, but we're going to keep it really nice and simple. What do you guys like in your deviled eggs? Anybody have a different recipe? Yes? What do you put in your deviled eggs? Pesto. Wow. That's, a, that's pretty good right there. I think I've never done that before. You want to continue mixing that up for me a little bit? All right. Let's get a hand of applause for this. Sous chef over here doing so well. 
Yeah, okay, a little pepper, not too much pepper. All right. Now, what I like to do is I like to have a nice piping bag on hand here. All right. Now, that looks really, really good. Catherine, what do you think about that? You got to taste your food, right, Catherine? All right, let's see. How's it taste? Thumbs up? Tell everybody it tastes delicious. Make me look good. Make me look good. Tastes good? All right, it tastes good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a spatula right over here. Uh, I think this one right here is going to work a little bit better. And now what I want you to do is kind of just scoop this up and put it right here in my hand inside the bag. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Now, if you don't have piping, ba piping bags at home, a Ziploc would work just fine. It's all the same. Perfect. Yeah, let's choose to maybe use a spoon or that. It'll help, help out a little bit more, too. There you go. There you go. All right. And next comes the fun part. We're going to decorate these to look like Easter, bug, uh, Easter eggs. Do you know how to draw an Easter egg, Bunny? No? All right. It's going to be your first time today. All right. So what we're going to do is try to get all that mi egg mixture to the bottom. Just like that. We're going to cut a little hole right here. Now I'm going to show you how to pipe one in and then you're going to do the, the next one, okay? All right, everybody see the egg right there? Oh, there we go. You want to try one? You could do it right, right into this one, just like that. There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, that's perfect. So we got two beautiful eggs here. Look how good those look. And now we gotta decorate them. So I figured, whoa, getting a little windy. So I got little, little baby carrots here. So I think these could look good as ears maybe. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, you don't really need to have a peeler when you're dealing with a carrot. The, the back of a knife will work just fine. See how that comes off, right? I actually think this is a little quicker than using a peeler, especially when you have small vegetables like this. Just scrape it off, just like that. All right. Now we're gonna cut it here. All right, and then we're gonna cut little thin slices to look like ears. Just like this. How's that look to you? Does that look like an ear to you? Yeah? You wanna put that on the top right there? All right. Do a second one just like that. All right. You want to do another one right there? Now, what should we do for the eyes? A little olive, maybe? Okay. So, you want to put one eye on it? So this is kind of a little fun, a little fun demonstration to do something different with your deviled eggs. You want to give them two eyes? <laughs> so you can look at both of them? Cyclops? You want to do a Cyclops one? All right. What a request. We've got one little Cyclops. What about some hair? The tops. The tops of carrots are really good for you. People really don't use them, but we'll give this guy a little fro. How's, how's that look? Yeah? What, what should we do for a mouth? Maybe this little sun-dried tomato, little smiley face. It can look like a tongue, maybe, like he's sticking his tongue out. What about that? <laughs> yeah. So there you go. <laughs> you like this? All right. So there you go, guys. Deviled egg, bunny rabbit. That's what I got for you. Want to try it out? Can I get a big round of applause for our sous chefs right there today? I, I, I lost something. It's getting really windy over here. Do I have any questions about the demo or anything at all? Yeah? Is it good? We got the heads up. <laughs> Catherine, you want to try one? Is it good? There we go. It, it lost its hair. It's okay. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for joining me today.
You guys have a wonderful Easter. Happy Easter.